49er vs. Rams pre-game show here on the 49er Unscrew News 24 Central Show. If you guys need to subscribe, like the video, let's go right into the pre-show. Let's start off with the injury report for Sunday game for the Los Angeles Rams. Per Lindsey Perez, the team reporter, Debo Samuel is out with a cap injury. We been knew he was out since Monday of this week. So Debo Samuel is the only player that is officially out from the four key players on this list. Tight end George Kittle is doubtful, most likely will not play on Sunday versus the LA Rams. Nick Bosa is questionable. Tredavious Ward is questionable. Those are the players that are on the 49er injury report for the Sunday game versus the Los Angeles Rams. Let's get into the key players of the week for the Rams and 49ers. These are three key players for each team that will be crucial for each team to win on Sunday. Starting off with the 49er key players, the 49er key players changed a little bit from the start of the week to now the end of the week. At the start of the week, my top three key players were Brock Purdy, Brandon Ayuk, and Nick Bosa. And now at the end of the week with Nick Bosa on the injury list, my key player that will replace Nick Bosa is Leonard Floyd. These are the three key players of the game. Brock Purdy, Brandon Ayuk, and Leonard Floyd. Of course, Brandon Ayuk needs to step up in a huge way with Debo Samuel being out with the cap injury for the next two weeks he needs to step up and show everybody what the 49ers paid Brandon Ayuk for paid him all that money he needs to step up and show that he is to be all pro wide receiver I think around week six or week eight is when Brandon Ayuk will start showing off and showing everyone why he was a all pro last year why he was a guy who got paid all that money Leonard Floyd of course with this Rams O-line being pretty beaten up with the offensive line for the Rams not being that good Leonard Floyd should have a field day for the Rams and he is one of the key players a revenge game also for Leonard Floyd. The Rams key players for Sunday game is first Kyron Williams. Kyron Williams will be a big part of the LA Rams offense with Cooper Cup and Puka Nukua being out. Kyron Williams will be the biggest part of this Rams offense on Sunday. Number two, Tredavious White. Tredavious White, a former all-pro cornerback, a former pro ball cornerback. He is going to be a huge help on that Rams defense. He's going to be the guy who's most likely going to be on Brandon Ayuk all game. So that is going to be a matchup to watch. Tredavious White versus Brandon Ayuk. And then number three, Byron Young. Byron Young is a very, very good pass rusher. He is very underrated, and he is the third key player for the LA Rams on Sunday. Now let's get into the keys of win for the 49ers. The number one key to win for the 49ers is to stop Kyron Williams and the Los Angeles Rams running game. The running game is going to be the biggest part of the Rams' victory. If they win, it's going to be a lot of Kyron Williams. Kyron Williams is going to have a heavy dose of running the ball on Sunday first of this 49ers defense. The 49ers run defense was very iffy so far to start the season. Very good versus Brees Hall and the Jets, but very bad versus the Minnesota Vikings and the Vikings. So hopefully the 49ers could step it up this week again and stop Kyron Williams from having a big game. That is the key number one. Key number two, let Jordan Mason cook. Jordan Mason needs to have the ball in his hands most of the game. I'm predicting right now Jordan Mason will have the ball a lot in his hands and he will have a huge game for the Los Angeles Rams. Jordan Mason is going to cook this Los Angeles Rams defense that looks very weak. The Rams have a very weak run defense. When I was watching the film from last week and week one, the Rams run defense is their weakness. Rams are going to allow Jordan Mason to have another big game just like he had in week one and week two. Jordan Mason is going to have another 70 plus rushing yard day versus the Los Angeles Rams. Number three, protect Brock Purdy. Do not let Brock Purdy get sacked versus this Rams team. Byron Young was a key player for the Rams who I highlighted. Byron Young is going to be a guy who Trent Williams needs to take care of. Make sure Brock Purdy does not get psyched by Byron Young and make sure he stays upright in that pocket. Do not let Brock Purdy get sacked. Let him have a clean pocket on Sunday and Brock Purdy could cook and dice this Los Angeles Rams defense. Even though he might be without Debo and George Kittle and Christian McCaffrey, Brock Purdy will still be able to cook this Los Angeles Rams defense if he has the time. The Rams DBs are very, very weak out there. So Davis White is their best DB and he does not look good. He was getting cooked by the rookie Marvin Harrison Jr. last week. So the Rams DB is a weak part of their defense. 
exactly the same for their run defense. The run defense is a pretty weak spot of their defense too. The run, the run defense for the Rams is just not good. It, it was horrible in week one. It was horrible in week two. James Conner had a field day. David Montgomery had a field day. Jamar Gibbs had a field day for this Rams uh, run defense. This run defense for the Rams is not good. And then one more on the offense. The Rams offensive line is just weak. The Rams offensive line was just very, very weak, allowing the Cardinals to get a lot of pressure on Matthew Stafford, allowing the Lions to get a lot of pressure on Matthew Stafford on week one. The 49ers will be able to sack Matthew Stafford three to five times in week three. The 49ers need to get Brandon Ayuk involved. Brandon Ayuk is going to be without his partner, Debo Samuel, so it's going to have to be a big Brandon Ayuk game. But I think it's going to be a big Jawan Jennings game for the Los Angeles Rams. I think Jennings is going to be the wide receiver who the 49ers will target mostly. And he will be the guy who steps up for Debo Samuel. Let's take a look back at last week real quick. If you guys were watching the video last week, I said that Brock Purdy will be able to cook versus the Minnesota Vikings. And that is exactly what he did. First of the Vikings, Brock Purdy threw for over 300 passing yards. Exactly what I said he would do versus the Vikings. He did. He absolutely cut versus the Minnesota Vikings. If you guys enjoyed the video, drop by Scott's channel. Now see you guys in the next one.